Hi, I'm Tassin Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make a self-foaming body wash. Now let me show you how easy it is to put together. Okay, so firstly I have um, a solubilizer here. This is some polysorbate 20. I'm going to use this to solubilize my fragrance. I have a fragrance from just off the shelf here. This is a really nice fresh smelling one. So I need to solubilize my fragrance before adding it into the water face. Um, otherwise it will separate and just sit on top. The solubilizer is what's going to help hold it together in water as a lot of fragrances are oil-based. So I'm gonna add that to my water phase now. And I'm just gonna give that one a stir. Now next I have my anionic surfactant here. So this is what's gonna do the cleaning and also it's gonna help foam. So this is the Eversoft uh, ULS 30S. And to this I'm gonna be adding some uh, Cocomidal Propyl Betaine, which is an amphoteric surfactant. This is gonna help create more mildness in our body wash and it's also gonna help boost the foam as well. So I'm just gonna give that one a stir and then I'm gonna add it to my water phase. So just make sure when you are mixing your surfactants that you use low shear. Don't use any vigorous uh, mixing that's going to add lots of bubbles or create lots of foam in your wash. Okay, so next I'm gonna add my preservative. I'm also gonna add a glycerin base extract. Next I'm going to be adding is some wheat teen NP and F by Tri-K Industries. So this is a really good anti-irritant and, and has some protective uh, properties. So this is really suited to um, shampoos, conditioners and other types of creams and lotions. So this is going to um, help make our body wash a lot more gentle. And I'm just going to add a small input of some polyquaternium 7. So this is the Mercot 550 PR by Lubrizol. This is a really good skin conditioner um, as well and also hair conditioner. So you can use it in shampoos as well. And I'm just going to give that one a stir. The polyquaternium is going to help give a nice feel after wash off. It's going to help the skin feel nice and conditioned and soft. Okay, and last but not least, we're just gonna check and adjust our final pH. Now, because this is a self-foaming product, we are not gonna add a gum or any other real energy modifier into it, and we're not gonna add any salt either. We do want it to be pretty liquid viscosity uh, because it needs to be dispensed through a foaming pump type packaging like this one here so you don't want it to have any viscosity otherwise it may prevent it from coming through the tube in the packaging so as always we are going to cover and leave this let it sit overnight just to check for any signs of instability Okay, so this is our self-foaming body wash next day. I've already gone ahead and put it in one of these self-foaming uh, pump packaging. It's actually really nice soft foam and it's got really good uh, spread as well. Feels quite buttery, nice and smooth on application. Well, there you go. That's how super quick and easy it is to put together a self-foaming body wash. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.